I believe Mike Brown Jr. died for no reason, and many others agree. This is not a legal issue, but rather a moral compass issue. As such, one can feel compassion and do what's right, regardless of one's feeling towards Brown's guilt or innocence. The institutional racism that came to head in Ferguson is still alive and thriving in poor black communities across this country. The fire is set by institutional racism is blazing and burning, torturing every black soul who lives within America's borders. I wrote this book to inspire this country to recognize our own shortcomings. Admit our wrongdoings to the people we have victimized. Allow the victims to be a part of the recovery. Forgive people for their wrongdoings and cooperate to bring about positive change in all communities. I wrote this book to inform those that have been misinformed, to educate those that have been immersed in the ignorance, the deception, the corporate greed, and the political agendas that fuel the chaos after the death of Michael Brown. My book aims to point out the incompetence of the leadership in Missouri when it came to advocating for the black community in Ferguson. And that is why I became the voice for the voiceless. Niggas tell the police we gon' bust back. Got the police scared. How you